The Jets trade for sack master Hassan Reddick. Remember, he, you know, the defensive end with the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, he has been one of the greatest sack artists of the last few years. He's got 50 and a half sacks, Rob, over the past four seasons. That's the fourth most in the NFL. Uh, Miles Garrett, TJ Watt, a couple others ahead of him. Um, But he has been fantastic. And remember the Jets lost Bryce Huff, who's a young up-and-coming pass rusher for them. He actually is signed with the Eagles. And so uh, they go ahead and get Hassan Reddick. To me, Rob, I mean, the Jets are going for it. I mean, they they signed Tyron Smith, who thir- who's 33. Morgan Moses, another offensive lineman, 33 years old. Mike Williams, 29 years old, often injured, but very good as a receiver when he's healthy. Obviously, you got the 40-year-old quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, and now Hassan Reddick. And we know they had some talent before, Rob. They are saying, and I don't blame them, we got a 40-year-old quarterback. This, is, this could be his last year of his career. And, Rob, I think the front office and the coaching staff knows if we don't get something significant done this year, I mean, make the playoffs, maybe win a round, we're probably out of here. So let's go for it now. Uh, first, tell me, do you agree with my assessment that that's what they're doing? And secondly, do you like this approach from the Jets or do you think it's just it, it, it's foolhardy? Well, first thing, Chris, is I say to myself when I saw it, what's wrong with Haseem? What's wrong with him? Like, <laughs> like, like Hassan. there's some, you know what I mean? Like, like there's some issue because well, the guy Philly has, didn't want to pay him. Well, well, there you go. And because yeah. we talk about this all the time. This is our, I mean, this, this is our, our banner for this show on how these guys put in all the effort, do all that stuff. And then these teams don't want to pay. Why yep. should he not be paid, Chris? Why should he not be paid? That team went to the Super Bowl. That team, you know, ran off all those wins last year in the beginning. Like he's a, a part well, I think of this what team. What they did, Rob? He's twenty nine. Bryce Huff, who had ten sacks last year for the Jets, is twenty six. So I think they're looking at it like we got the younger guy, and they paid Huff. He, he got a fifty one million dollar contract. So I think they just – I think it was one of those types of moves, Yeah, Rob. but I'm, I'm just I, – I, I'm always questioning when somebody of that talent has moved. You know, and I, and I know financially, Chris, the NFL, which is shame on the NFL because why didn't he get paid in Philly when he did all that damage in Philly? But anyway, yes, if you have Aaron Rodgers, there is no next year. There's no three-year plan. You just can't operate like that. We talked about it before. Where's your Chris – now, they got a backup quarterback finally, right? And Tyrod Taylor is yeah, the backup. Yeah, yeah. So, so they got a remember, quarterback. They pretty good last year with no quarterback. Play. Okay, because you remember I said that, that you got to have a quarterback because he might not miss the whole season, but he could miss a couple games. So, so you got to yeah, have a quarterback. And he, and he might miss the whole season. Who knows? But you, you know? don't know. Yeah. And number two, they, they, you got to show up the offensive line, okay, because that they, was a mess. they've tried. We'll see if they can stay healthy. If it works they got out, three. Right? Three offensive linemen, yeah. Three but you have to because of what happened last year. Absolutely. And and you do. You have to – there's no long-term play. Aaron Rodgers might want to play for three more years, but let's be realistic. If you're the Jets, you're the GM, and you're Salah, Chris, this is it. Don't kid oh, yeah. yourself. Absolutely. Don't kid yourself. If the Jets don't do – make a run, Chris, something – you know what I mean? Yep. Like they're done. If this for if this is a nine and seven team, and and they lose in the first round of playoff, I'm just giving you a scenario. Right, that ain't gonna be good enough for the stuff that they've done. No, nah, and and I'm gonna be honest, and and even with Aaron Rodgers now, if if we don't make the playoffs, we be in the Jets. Um, I don't want Aaron back. I mean. Well, you have you have to look at you have to look at what happened. I mean, just to be fair, Chris. Yeah, if, but if, I'm just saying. No, I'm just. No, nah, I hear you. It depends because if the defense something like takes a step back 
or the offensive line doesn't protect him for whatever reason. I'm just trying to give you another no, scenario. No, I get it, and I tend to agree. That's all. That's all I I'm saying. I tend to agree, but I'm just saying they should be looking at this as a one-year thing. Because who knows? I mean, first of all, let's see how he plays. Yeah. Oh, Secondly, no how healthy. You know, like there's so much. I agree. I mean, if he's great and it's other reasons that right. they don't play, well, of course you're going to keep him. It's not like they, they, don't, they don't have the air apparent. Tyrod Taylor's not the heir apparent. No, no, no. He's a backup quarterback. Yeah. So they they don't have that guy in place. So, yeah, if he plays well, I guess you're bringing him back. But if it goes bad this year, then, you know, and I think Douglas and Sala could be out. So I agree, Rob. I think this is the right thing for them to do, to go for it. What, push what all you, your chips right in the now, middle of the table. You got to push all your yep. chips in the middle. When Come you on, look dude. at them right now, what do you see? And I mean, I think Miami could take a step back. Um, obviously, Buffalo, even though they haven't had a great offseason, I, I still think they're going to be a force. I, I, just, in that I, I don't believe in the Jets at all. I, I have to see it really? to believe it. Yep. I just have to. So you, I, you will not likely, I know we'll do our picks later right. in the fall, but you're not likely to pick them to make the playoffs. I'm just not convinced at this point. I need to look at uh, Buffalo's on the other way, so that sort of you know they could be an opening there, but but the Jets have had so much, so many things go wrong, just make the bad decisions. You don't you don't not make the Super Bowl since 1969 by accident, Chris. It's a lot oh, of it is yeah. I mean, yeah, a lot of it is just bad management and ownership, and and I get it. Uh, they were on the cusp of making two Super Bowls with Rex Ryan, and that team had great defense, Chris. They ran the ball. They just couldn't get over the hump. Right. Like, you know, right, and right. Uh, so so I'm just saying I need to see the team first to really believe in it. I just not on face value. I just cannot like, oh, yeah, they're going to the a- AFC championship game. No, no I, I can't I mean, say I, that. I, I, I can't say I don't say know that. how anybody other than just a rabbit somewhat blind. Right, right. Jets That's what I'm saying. Say that. You got you got at you, least you want to say two make teams playoffs, already maybe. that 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 are that Baltimore and Kansas City. So there are two teams. Joe Burrow's healthy, Chris. There's three teams. I'm just saying I mean that whole like you, AFC North. When you start Buffalo, looking at those I teams, still things gonna be tough. Houston it is you know we'll see if they're. I need to see a, a second year of that, right? But somebody from that division, Jacksonville, maybe they bounce back. Indianapolis have will have There's their a lot young of teams quarterback in the back. AFC, and I think the Chargers are going to make a move now that they've got Harbaugh. I think he's going to do well. So yeah, AFC man is no joke. Uh, all right.